Alright guys, so earlier this week I told you that I would sh show you how to do uh, a tu tu tutorial on how to get your Avid projects and all of your MXF data onto a DVD to help you out with your submission for the audio assignment on Friday. Now, bearing in mind, Seth requested that we have the finished audio file, uh, the project file and all relevant you know, MXF data, uh, the master files of the sound we recorded, uh, the, a digital copy of our essay, and a, all, um, and a copy of an interview from documentary or uh, documentary class. So, let's get on onto it. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to put a fresh DVD into your drive. Um, obviously this is for PC, but for those that are, of you that are Mac savvy, you're going to know how to do this I presume anyway. If you don't, let me know and we'll see if we can work it out. Um, <clears throat> when you put in a new DVD, it's going to ask you to select a format, either as a USB file system or as a mastered DVD CD. You're going to want to select uh, USB for this one, um, as he wants a data drive rather than a mastered DVD. So once you select that and it's formatted, you're going to need to move several things onto the CD. As you can see here, what I've got on my drive are folders called Avid Media Files, Avid Projects, and OMFI Media Files. So, uh, you're going to want to create those folders. So just File New Folder. You'll just want to recreate those folders there. Um, exact spelling and formatting. Um, because it's just the way that Avid reads it. So when... Uh, now, to get stuff from your file, from, from wherever you've saved it, um, you're going to want to connect any external hard drives or the location that you've saved all of your work to. For me, it's my external drive. So once that loads, so we'll go into Lacey. Now, first things first, you're going to want to go into your Avid Projects and then copy the folder that is that has the same file name as your audio assignment. So for me, that's this one here. So you're going to copy that, um, you're going to go to your DVD and inside the same folder, it's got to be inside the Avid Projects folder, paste it. So make sure you copy, I've, I'm not doing it because everything's already there, you're going to want to copy that whole project over. So that's the easy one. Now, you're also going to want, back on the Lacey drive or your external hard drive, you're going to want to copy the folder that says OMFI Media Files. Um, because in here, uh, all, of the all of the files that are created from your AAF import. Um, so you're going to want to copy this whole folder in its entirety. Um, there may be some stuff on, on it that's not relevant, but as far as I can tell, all of the files in here are created from uh, transcoding the AAF. So you're going to want to copy this over to your DVD as well. Now it has to be a DVD and not a CD because uh, CDs will not have enough room to copy all of this data. So I'm just again not copying because it's already on on the disk for me um, but you guys would let that copy. Now the hardest part here is going to be getting all of your MXF files they're located in the Avid Media Files. Now, this file can, this folder can be anywhere. It will, um, you'll have specified it. If you cannot find it, uh, when you go, when you open up Avid next time, just pay attention to the uh, file path that it ser searches for, and that way you can go in and find it again. So inside here, you're going to have MXF number one. So in here, there's a lot of folders, files that probably mean nothing. They're all just a bunch of words and numbers. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select the date modified or date created depending on what, what you've got <coughs> so that it's most most recently. Now you're going to... Um, I suspect that most of you probably haven't used Avid uh, since the other woman which we did last trimester. Um, so it that makes it nice and easy. You can just select all of the stuff created from from that point th th down. However, for those of you like me that have done other projects in the meantime, you're just going to have to make sure that you select all the right files. So, I know that all of these files here are part of my audio assignment. So, 
I'm going to copy all of them. Now these ones aren't, so ignore them. Um, and then, oops, never mind. So you're going to want to go to there. So these are just the AF uh, imports. Ignore these ones because for me they, they were another side project. And then these here are all part of my audio assignment. These are all the transcoded files that Avid uses to create your timeline. So you're going to want to copy all of these. Now do not copy these MSM uh, mob. These are the database files which you will not need because Avid will recreate them and I'll show you what I mean in a second. So you're going to want to copy these over to your DVD. Now you need to create an MXF folder inside Avid Media Files and inside that it, it needs to be a numbered folder. It needs to be 1 through to 9. I advise not using 1 because it already you already use that file system. Um, so just copy all of it in, into 5 and that way everything within 5 is going to be part of this one project. So we'll paste them. And it's, it's going to take a very long time because it is a DVD and it's pretty slow. So we won't copy them. Um, so you'll have to wait for that one to done to, to finish up. Now, what you do from here is you're going to want to open up Avid. Um, first of all, I'm going to quickly delete my database files. Now, don't worry, these, these can be deleted safely, but just send them to your recycle bin if you're not so sure. So, delete them. Now you're going to want to open your Avid. This is just going to be to make sure that everything is copied over properly. So we just yep, just waiting. And now this is going to be this is now searching and creating those database files so that you can now refer to them in uh, all of those files that you copied to your D drive, which is in this case is your CD. It's creating the database of them so that your Avid project is going to be able to find them. All right, so uh, this won't happen by default, but uh, what will happen? You'll need to select this folder. Um, you'll select your DVD drive. Under Avid Projects, you'll select your the folder that says your the, uh, the file name that you've saved it as. You go OK, and that will open up your assignment from the DVD. Now it, it does take a lot longer than usual because it is from a DVD which is significantly slower than your hard drive. So um, if you've done everything correctly um, and the database files have, have now compiled, oops, get that out of the way. It's just taking a bit of time to to read everything. Um, now if, if you have done everything correctly, piss off. Um, come on. Okay. So if you, if you have done everything correctly, all of these files here will uh, be normally coloured, and you should have all things present in this window. You're not going to be able to play it back properly because, again, the DVD is too slow. But if you just scrub through, you should be able to see that you've got all of your audio and all of your video on the timeline. If you haven't copied over specific files, they will appear as red. For example, if this one here wasn't copied over, that file would be red. What you would need to do then is go back into your media files on your um, Lacey drive and just make sure that you've got uh, everything located in here that is part of your audio assignment. Um, so just, just go through and try to find anything that looks like it might be relevant. Um, once you do that, uh, again, go and uh, once, once once you copy that over to your Avid Media Files on your CD drive, you're going to want to again delete the database files, um, these two files here, so that it will let you, um, so that it will recreate the database and will read the files that you just copied over. Um, so that's pretty much it. 
if you do that, um, it, it should all be on the disk and ready for submission. If you do have any problems with it, uh, feel free to just hit me up on Facebook and I will see what I can do for you. Anyway, best of luck and uh, hope you all get your assignments in on time.